I'm here together with Toto and Alex, two interns working on a CNC project. We are working on creating Piranha, a very strong CNC based on the open build system, but enforced and strengthened in several ways. We will show you a few of the details in this video, and later we will also publish all the details on openbuilds.com. Right now, we have worked on the prototype and we started out making every single piece in MDF to, uh, in order to find out how things would come together. So we made all the corners and set brackets and Y gantry plates. But now we are here at a point where we have made all the plates in aluminum and we would like to show you some of the details. For our construction, we would like to show you that we're using a pair of uh, high-profile 50 mm rails together with four linear blocks. And we're using the same principle of motion on all three of our axes. They are accompanied with um, gantry plates that are cut out of 6 mm aluminum sheet to our specifications. So we have used a lead screw driven drive system and let me show you some of the details of that. Yeah, so we have the stepper motor here connected to the coupler and then in order to take the uh, axial force we have a thrust bearing and then a flanged bearing sitting inside the plate here. Then we have the uh, Acme rod going all the way to where it meets a set of Acme blocks, one on each side of the uh, Y plate. In order to make the system fit from the plate into the block, we had to make some uh, spacers. They have to be very precise in dimension. And for now, a prototype we have made in uh, plywood. However, the plan is to make them in pump or alternatively aluminum for the final uh, production version. And then at the end, on the outside, we again have a stack with a flat, flanged bearing a thrust bearing and then a lock nut that can tighten up the uh, Acme lead screw so uh, wobbling is uh, reduced. Um, for the controls we are using the black box from Open Builds. Uh, the machine has three limit switches uh, with the possibility for up to six. Now I will demonstrate the homing sequence. And as you can see, everything worked work as intended. So the idea now is that we will try to uh, run a Hello World uh, program. And we have made this fantastic tool here with a pencil marker attached to the, to the milling machine. So we will stick it in here and then we will try to run a Hello World.